from John's Custom Saws. I'm going to show you how you send it real easy. Three-step process. Open the bottle, hit the switch, and... nothing to it okay guys so I am a day late on putting this video up I'm really sorry so John from John's custom saws we have the results from the the muffler test where I tested a 500i with an expansion chamber that was not built for this saw it was built for a different saw and a custom like a shotgun style muffler that I made and I'll tell you right off the bat I was pretty surprised at the results um, you know, a lot of people had told me right off the bat that, well, first off, they said porting a 500i is going to do you no good. They said the same thing about M-Tronic saws, you know, and that's not true. That's not true at all. So um, I like to try things for myself. I like to find the results myself, uh, not just go off what everybody else tells you. But on the expansion chamber, you know, maybe, maybe I was wrong on this one. Uh, I won't give it away yet, but take a guess, you know, guess for yourself. You know, there's a few of you that comment on all these posts, just uh, take a wild guess at what you think happened. Was it the same, slower, faster? And I was in, uh, I cut really hard wood, but it wasn't a really big uh, test log. It was, you know, a little over 20 inches or so. Um, and like, uh, you know, under a 20 second cut, you know, really hard wood. And I used a, a stock chain out of the box and it cut like absolute shit. Um, I use square ground chains. I don't sharpen them. I have somebody do it and I lower the rakers quite a bit So it was weird to cut with the stock chain. I felt like I felt like it was just a dull chain So it goes to show you, you know when you get used to really good chains It's it's kind of different to cut with the stock chain So that's why it looks like it's the chain is dull is because I'm cutting really hard wood and it's a, a Out-of-the-box chain. I wanted to keep it as fair as possible. I didn't dog in I wanted to like I really did um, and I'll probably put up the uh, video of all the cuts uh, after the head-to-head, -head. but uh, yeah, leave it in the leave it in the comments what you think happened. If it was faster, if it was slower, just take a guess, you know. Um, but you know, we, that's how we learn. That's how we learn. So without further ado, here's the video of the head-to-head -head race, and uh, we'll see if you're as surprised as I was. All right, guys. <laughs> incredible guys holy shit that okay put it this way i have never seen a bolt-on like product anything intake exhaust anything that does that that's incredible um i don't know what the percentage is on that but that's a small cut that's not like a big 30 second cut in a small cut to make that big of a difference that's insane that that gives me so much hope and opens my eyes to these expansion chambers and my man that that made these for me that are these they're not for this saw they're made for a 50 cc saw and that's not a 50 cc saw uh dude i owe you 20 bucks you were right 100 percent. that's about exactly what he said it would do i didn't believe him i was like no way there's no way uh now imagine if it was actually built for this saw because I don't understand these things. I've kind of got a little bit of an understanding where it, it reuses the unburnt fuel and it has a lot to do with like sonic waves, sound waves and all that. So it's beyond me, but that is incredible. And I've been told by some people like these things are, are nuts. It, it, it's, it's really how you get the, the most out of a, out of a two stroke is with an expansion chamber, you know, obviously porting and all that stuff, it, it does a lot, but porting and the intake with an expansion chamber, nuts. So I cannot wait to put one of these on the nitro saw and actually run it. Uh, I have to go off site. So I hope to get out tomorrow, go do a bunch of cutting and uh, finish the muffler head to head stuff and run it on the nitro saw. Dude, I'm so excited for this. I've never seen anything like that. Really opens my eyes. And uh, 
you know, people are going to say that I cheated and all that. You know, I can't, I can't change people's minds, but I wouldn't do something like that. You just have to take my word for it. I switched chains between, they were new chains out of the box, same, same style chain, just, you know, steel, uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't full skip. It was like half skip chain. That's why I didn't touch the rakers or nothing. I usually get my chain square ground and lower the rakers. So that, that wood is really hard and they're new chains with the rakers left alone. So that's why they look like they're dull. Uh, new chains suck. I, I just, I hate to say it, but they're just not the best, but I wanted to keep it fair. I didn't dog in. I tried to keep it as fair as I possibly could. I let the saw recalibrate. I did everything to the best of my ability to keep it fair. Uh, Scout's honor. So if you believe me, you believe me. If you don't, you don't, but that's incredible. And I always say like, try it yourself. That's why I, I that's why I try this stuff. I was told by quite a few people that, you know, they heard on a saw forum that uh, expansion chamber won't work on a 500i. It'll lean it out too much. It almost did the opposite. You could tell that thing was blowing some rich smoke. Um, it didn't lean it out. It, in fact, the opposite. So that's why you got to kind of, you know, I always try to listen to people, especially when they're smarter than me, which is like most people, but you got to try stuff for yourself. These people don't try this stuff. That's what I keep saying time and time again. You can't just take these guys word for it. They don't try it. They just, they guess and then they state it like a fact. And I've always had a problem with that. Uh, if I don't know something, I'm going to say, I don't know. Uh, I don't even like to guess, you know, that's why I, that's why I basically keep my mouth shut unless I know what I'm talking about. So that's incredible guys. Uh, I can't wait to do some more cutting, some more testing, and get some more expansion chambers actually built for the saw that it's going on, but how about them apples? Unbelievable. Uh, here's some more videos of the, the saw with the expansion chamber. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.